All right, uh, we're going to do a little walk through with the 1964 BMW R27. Uh, this motorcycle will be uh, auctioning on uh, Bring a Trailer here in the next uh, two to three weeks. So uh, once it's live, I'll put a link in the video here so you can uh, find it if you're interested. Anyway, what we're looking at is a 1964 uh, BMW R27. They're a 250cc single cylinder bike. Uh, this one I've owned for quite a long time. I think about 10 years, roughly. 10 or 11, maybe. Can't really remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, after I got this bike, um, I took it to uh, Benchmark Works, Craig Vakoric, and I think I'm pronouncing his name properly at Benchmark Works. He happens to be one of the most uh, knowledgeable uh, vintage BMW experts in the country. Uh, he went through this bike in, entirely um, you know, from a mechanical standpoint. Uh, when Craig and I talked about the bike, uh, we both agreed that we felt the paint on this motorcycle was original. So the paint was not touched um, in any way. Uh, it's to my knowledge, not been painted, not been touched up. It's uh, entirely as it was. Um, but what we did do was uh, completely uh, disassemble engine, transmission, rear drive, uh, steering head bearings, really everything else. And uh, anything that needed attention was uh, given attention. The brakes, wheel bearings, uh, kind of you name it. Mechanically, this bike was completely gone through. So uh, that's the basis. Um, I did have him put uh, the Pagusa uh, saddle on it. That's what I preferred. Uh, I believe when I got it, it had a uh, kind of a banana seat on it. You can still see the, the remnants here in the paint uh, from that. But uh, that's uh, that was my preference and so forth. So uh, we'll get into some of the details here. Um, you know, just going to give you a close-up look at really everything on the bike here. Uh, obviously, your uh, your key, um, miles I believe are original, twenty-two thousand three hundred two. Um, I've put probably 500 miles in this motorcycle since it was completely uh, overhauled. Um, again, just giving you a close-up view. It's not absolutely perfect. There are just, you know, those little spots on it. Uh, this is uh, the key for opening up your toolbox and, and your uh, battery panel. The tank really is in nice shape inside and out uh, everything else is just working great I do believe the tire pump is a repro uh, the old one uh, was not functional um, again paint was not touched on this bike everything else was gone through so I'm just giving you you know a close-up look you know if you were looking at this in person you'd be getting down and checking it out it leaks none at all no leaks whatsoever um, you know get I'll give you a close-up here on this side bars the mirror mirror was replaced at that time. Um, just really a fabulous bike. I can't tell you enough about it. It's been great, you know, for the most part. Uh, you know, we've ridden this bike some. When I say we, my son and I, there's, you know, there's a scratch here. Oh, get the camera in focus. New battery, correct fuel lines, Almagura rubber, 
grips and foot pegs. I don't think we replaced the pipe at the time. It may have, I can't recall. I'll supply uh, all the records for the rebuild. I've got them all. Again, I'm just, you know, this, uh, not necessarily a, you know, super cinematic video here for y'all, but uh, really I'm just trying to give you a, a good view of this motorcycle. There are some chips and so forth in places. You know, it's not like a brand new out of the factory motorcycle, but it's also uh, 56 years old. And this paint in this condition being uh, what I believe to be original is pretty incredible and unique. You know, there's definitely restored bikes out there like this, but um, they've been restored. Nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong, but to find one original like this is, uh, and the um, Cloisson has a Mar. Uh, otherwise, a pretty fabulous bike. So uh, we'll uh, put the key back in here and we'll uh, give it a kick. So it's cold now, so I don't know how this is going to go. We'll find out. Fuel on. Get a bit of gas. Come on. And we'll tickle the curb a little bit. get the right combination. It's a little bit hard getting it started one-handed by the way, but and uh, just uh, that's the second time this bike's been started in uh, over a year. So And so that gives you some idea. It's in great shape. Sounds great. Super quiet. So anyway, um, I hope this uh, answers some questions for you, gives you some idea what kind of bike you're bidding on, and uh, the kind of the quality of it. it I think it's, uh, it's a great motorcycle. It is certainly a unique animal in many ways uh, in terms of you don't see a lot of R27s, and you definitely don't see a lot of R27s with original paint in this condition so anyway uh, as you go along you ask me questions I'll be uh, interactive in the uh, auction obviously more than happy to tell you everything I know about it and uh, good luck thanks